Hi again. Today, I'm going to talk about humanistic learning theory. We learn because we are human. All the human beings uh, have the basic instinct to learn. And today, this is uh, the overview of the coverage of uh, this lecture. Why humanism? The understanding about uh, the human needs and the importance of these theories to human being. And what are the learning theories which are more humanistic type? And the implication of these theories uh, in the teaching or the instruction. This aspect will be covered in today's lecture. I hope you will stay with me. Humanism. Why the this uh, value is essential for the human being. Humans want to be good. They want to improve all the time. Human beings want to have free will to reach self-actualization and to reach the state of self-aware, focus on the mission of life and try to stri strive and also think broader more open in order to reach self-actualization. However, it is hard to reach that state. Humanistic learning theory uh, is defined as a humanism paradigm of perspective, looking into how humans learn. And uh, it, it is a belief that learning is viewed as a personal act to fulfill one's potential. And there are uh, some behavior, uh, some humanistic uh, learning theories who are uh, Abraham Maslow, who proposed theories of hierarchy of needs, and also Carl Rogers' theory of self concept. Malcolm Knowles, adult learning theory or andragogy. So these are the proponents of some theories perspective that focus on humanism. And there are some terms uh, related to these theories, for example, self-actualization and also teachers as a facilitator in the learning system. According to Maslow, theories of hierarchy of needs. It has been used and continue to use by many people to understand what are the driving forces that uh, drive humans want to be good, want to improve. And what is the important to the individual's uh, elements in, in the individuals of their lives. So these are the hierarchy from the foundation hierarchical perspective. Physio physiological needs or survival needs are the crucial needs uh, needed by the human, such as air, shelter, water, food, sleep, and also sex. And moving on, human being needs the, the safety net and also the security for the place that they live, the security of job to secure income and also to secure their resources or their properties and to bring safety to their families, to have a good environment for their health and they feel safe in that environment. So this is another level, basic level of needs by the human. When these two levels of hierarchical needs are fulfilled. A human being also require the needs of a sense of belonging, belonging to a family, to a group, or to a society. The social needs aspect is also important. And the needs of love and the caring of the family members and the society. So these are the important, okay? And uh, moving on, when 
these needs are fulfilled, the human are looking forward to the needs of self-esteem so that uh, they can build their confidence and they can improve themselves to, to, to strive for a greater achievement and to gain respect from others and they are also able to respect others as well. So this is the state of uh, self-esteem. Uh, ability to, to get the needs of esteem and to be more confident. Moving on, human beings are trying to strive to the tips of the uh, hierarchy of needs, which is to reach the state of self-actualization. It means uh, the state of fulfillment of their needs and they are able to strive for more creativity in their life and of course morality and they feel happy and fulfillment and they can find the meaning of life. So these are the, the, the levels of uh, the hierarchy of needs. Okay, that uh, is needed by the human and these theories has been uh, accepted uh, by many people and always used to explain about the needs of people or human. Maslow's theory of hierarchy of needs, according to him, that humans' immediate requirements or needs for their survival should be addressed first before they can move on and turn their attention to other form of needs towards their self-actualization, which is to the tip of the uh, triangle of the uh, Maslow learning uh, hierarchy of needs, in which to the tip, uh, the individual must have the self-aware and focus on the mission and the, to build the meaning of life that they try to reach the authenticity of themselves and also to reach some uh, a creativity stage uh, for, for, uh, for the life fulfillment that they want to reach. However, this stage is hard to reach and it requires a lot of effort from the human, from the people. Um, This is all for, for this part and the other parts uh, will be explained in the next video.